Do that for me as you already say. Uganda. For clarity, Rinaldi is like Ronaldo but with eyes at the end and Jamgisa has an SA not SHA. And it's not Bia but JA. Clear? Because sometimes I see my name as Bia Mujisha. So it's always a... Uh, yeah, okay, cool. We're ready? Alright, so my name is Rinaldi Jamgisa. Um, I am the PR and Communications Manager at MultiChoice Uganda. Today we are uh, showcasing uh, what we have in store as part of the Multi-Choice Uganda Media Showcase 2024. Uh, this is an event that we hold annually. Sometimes we do a hybrid kind of event. Uh, sometimes um, we, we, we do it hybrid, sometimes it's physical. But importantly is that the purpose of the showcase is to help uh, bring for us information in as far as what we are up to, what we are doing. What have we been doing in the past? What are we currently doing and what's coming? And so throughout the showcase, we're speaking into these things. But I think important for a conversation like this, like we're having right now, is that we, we, we are basically speaking to things like local, local content. We are speaking to um, you know, international content or general entertainment, kids content, um, you know, sports that we know that you know, our customers love very much. And so for us, it's very important that we share these updates and information as it comes. Importantly for us on the local scene is that we have shows that have been on for a while and now coming to an end. Shows like Damalai, shows like Kampala Cream, which have been, you know, a sensation across the board for viewers. But just to let you know that these shows are coming back. Damalai will be coming back for a season two. Uh, Kampala Cream will also be coming for a season two. But also important is that whilst these shows are going on season breaks, we shall be having them replaced by other shows in the meantime because guys need to recuperate, guys need to plan, you know, the shooting afresh. So it's very, very important that they get this break time to be able to do that. Uh, we have shows like Mom vs. Wife that's coming. We're currently shooting another show called Crossroads that will be coming in June to replace Sanyo and Sanyo. And Sanyo will be ending its fourth season. Its fourth season. Uh, that you know has been on since way back as far as uh, 2018, and so we have we have it ending in June and replaced by uh, Crossroads. Any other question? Okay. So Sanyo in itself, beloved, all these are telenovelas. Reality is a bit different because it pertains to the everyday life uh, of the cast and the crew. Um, and so this particular time, this uh, Kampala cream, what we did for it is it had 13 episodes uh, premiering as far back as January 14th and has been on until uh, last week. Right, which was April about seventh, which was when we had the last, um, the last episode of it running, uh, final, final show for the first season. And so, out of the fact that you know, as our viewers, they showed us that they've loved the show, uh, they're enjoying it, and we said, no, we now need to extend and bring more of it. And so, currently, we're in the planning phases to see that Kampala Cream comes back uh, with a bang once Mom versus Wife. Uh, is complete, so we're very, very excited to do this. Okay, my address is all uh, still uh, with a couple of Um, 
the drama that we faced in our season one. Are uh, we coming back clean? What is clean? So, mm. yes. Coming back? No, oh, no, no, no. So, reality is reality. Unfortunately, the way it works is that we do not force it. Right? Uh, people keep asking, is it scripted, is it not? And we've had people mention that it's scripted, but it's actually not. These are the lives of these people. It's their everyday life. Meaning the camera will come, follow you. Like I was trying to write through her song and plan for it, and we went and shot that. Mami Debo was launching her, her new business, uh, what's it called? Um, Boji, and we went there and shot it. And so that's how it works. She was being proposed to, and were there DJ uh, Etania, as well as um, DJ Zato. All of them had experiences, and we went and shot those. Why? Because these are creating uh, an opportunity for our, cast, for our customers to touch base with uh, the cast and, and, and their lives in general. So nothing is actually scripted. Possibly, mostly what would happen, honestly, is guidance, but not to say that, ah, go and say this, go say this, go say this. No, that never happens. You yeah. wanted an idea that I didn't want to go, oh, the line I didn't want to go. You said that it's unscripted and everything is real. Uh, when Memoria was out to do the tears, she said, you guys are told that one of the time to look out in the camera and cry. And it's like it was a line of unscripted. That was Memoria's Because of contractual obligations, uh, yes, which yes. on our side we'll maintain and respect, yes, yes. I will not be able to speak on that uh, because is. it might raise a um, number of things, but yeah. Last year we opened. Uh, I was at a hotel, uh, I decided I wanted to rest. And one thing I didn't want to miss was Kampala Cream. And I was like, if I get to this hotel and there are packages, law, I will be annoyed. I'll go home. And lucky for me, it was mwah. So my experience was made better. Is that so? I want you to tell me a little bit more about the entertainment and how it correlates to the whole guest experience when it comes to hotels. First of all, um, we all know that the tourists, the guests, is becoming younger and younger every year. When you travel, many of us are following these um, um, dramas. So whether it's the K-dramas, whether it's something like Kampala Cream. First of all, ladies of Kampala Cream, uh, Kampala Cream, kudos to you guys. My entire office is obsessed everywhere I go. People are obsessed that they are talking about this. And that's really amazing. I used to follow and travel to South Africa a lot. And I used to watch things like Generations. Please, nobody should start calculating the age. <laughs> but I used to follow things like generations. And then you go to South Africa, you find something like Iti Jingo. For me, if it's on TV, I will follow it, even if I can't understand the language. But the point I'm trying to make is, we used to look at the quality of these South African shows, and I would get jealous. And I'd be like, I think we have a better talent, or equal talent, but the production quality is not good. So we were always let down, because we always had the opportunities. All these hotels are coming up. We are now grading and classifying hotels. And that's one of the things where we ask. You will not, I mean, uh, uh, Serena will not get a five-star rating if they do not have quality entertainment. You know, a one-star, maybe you may uh, find a Gatali Kung Fu. But if you go to Serena, you need to find DSTV, Pal Magic, and also the quality of the picture on the screen actually adds on to the star of the hotel. If your picture is grainy, now everybody has a 4K TV, a ULED TV. That shows how the entertainment industry is growing and how important it is. Not only that, entertainment is now in our palms. You know, many people in this room, I'm sure, travel a lot. Many of us travel economy, you have eight hour layovers. But what do we do first? We go to Showmax and we download our, the entertainment that we want to be able to take us through all that time. So it is really important for us to be able to have quality entertainment, especially in the hotels. Uganda currently has over 3,000 hotels. Okay, really good hotels in Uganda. So when we do travel, many of us, 
we want to take a piece of home, a piece of our routine with us. And that mostly is entertainment. You, when people always come and tell me, why would I pay $300 for a hotel where I only go to sleep? But if the hotel has entertainment, you are able to spend more time in the bed that you have paid for, which is exactly what, what you Exactly, want. that's true. In fact, these days when you are, even Airbnbs, by the way, yeah, you start seeing amenities, DSTV available. Ha! That gives you a take, I've seen. <laughs> so let's, um, for anyone who's watching right now, maybe you're a hotel owner, uh, you maybe work in a hotel, there are business owners in that field. Can you help and highlight the DSTV for business collaboration with the Uganda Hotel Owners Association and the benefits to the owners? I know you've listed a few, um, but is there a way you can help now speak to your fellow hotel owners? For them to understand it deeper, for them to know that this is what will come out of it. Okay, first of all, I already did mention the issue of grading and classification. For any hotel, if you want to be a five-star, if you want to be a four-star, you need to take care of the entertainment. You need to be able to provide a holistic experience for the guests. Yes, I will come and go swimming. People want to watch CNA. There are some guests like uh, celebrities who want to continue following their Pal Magic um, uh, series that they are following. And these people are paying top dollars. So we need to be able to make sure that at the end of the day, the guest gets value for money in the service that we provide, both in the beds, in the uh, I mean, culinary experience. Most, most importantly, entertainment. Nobody leaves their home to come to a hotel to just look at each other and they stay on honeymoon. And those are not too many every year. The majority of the market comes to relax, comes to be stressed, and they need to keep following their entertainment. So for you to be able to get that five-star check, you need to be able to have quality entertainment for your guests. But most notably, the hotels cannot exist outside DSTV, outside entertainment. Most of these shows are actually screened in hotels. So hotels are actually offering concessions, we are partnering with DSTV in that regard, saying if you are trying to develop local talent, if you are trying to get local content that is for international viewership, then you are very welcome to come and join us. And for the producers that I have seen, in case anybody requires any assistance accessing a hotel, accessing a facility, the Hotel Owners Association is here to bridge that. So please feel free to always reach out to me and our office and we'll be able to help you and facilitate to make sure that, because you are marketing our country, we go out there to market Uganda, what we're trying to feed for NAM, for Chogam, for ETC, and we need to put a good picture. We do not want to show a grainy picture to an international audience. So if DSCB is doing the duty of uh, developing talent, surely as people in the same private sector, we owe it to you to support you, to give you the venue that you can be able to develop quality pictures because it makes me proudly Ugandan when I do go out there and people are asking us about Kampala cream and how amazing the ladies look, how amazing their wigs look, how amazing their makeup looks and then we do not only need to go to Netflix to watch Young, Rich, and African, because we do have Young, Rich, and Ugandan right next door. Tell them, tell them, send money. Mm, yeah. My, you, you, first of all, because you've said something very important, any filmmaker out there will tell you, any producer out there will tell you, location, location, location can be a problem. So, on that note, I want you to stop there. You might change your mind. Thank you so much, Jean. One. My name is Brian Molondo, and I'm the local content marketing. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, before, uh, while we were prepping for the evening, um, Brian was rehearsing his Luzungu, because he knew tonight was going to be a Luzungu launching. So let's see how we're going to do this. Um, this is the point at which I'm going to ask the one, the only, Mchala Bina Baby, to stand and give us a wave. 
A round of applause. And you're about to find out why I have waited until this moment for you to recognize that amazing talent right there. You look beautiful. Mr. Blondo. Yes. Uh, on, every, on nearly every London lips. Hmm? With access to television. Everyone who follows closely on social. Everyone is talking how multi choice is inventing, is investing and continues to invest in local content. Tell us, tell us that journey, the why, the intricacies, and elaborate more on it. Uh, thank you very much. Once again, good evening. Um, so, Malaika, I'll, I'll tell you what drives our passion for local content. We are Africa's most loved storyteller. Yes. So, that's how we are. That's a bigger picture. And when you come to Uganda, we are Uganda's most loved storyteller. Say that again, you started somewhere. You are? Uganda's most loved storyteller. No, you started by your Africa's... Our Africa vision. Yeah. So we tell stories of yes. Africa, you know? Mm. And I don't know if you got the opportunity to watch Shaka 11. Mm. That's the story yes. about Yes. We, we brought that. But when you think about Uganda's story... You are the most loved. We are the most loved. Each one of us is in the stories that we, we, we broadcast. Mm. We do, each one of us is in the Sanyo. Yes. Each one of us is in JDC. True. Yeah, each one of us is in Damalai. Beloved. Beloved. So all of us are, are part of the story. So that's what drives our passion. And so five years ago, um, we started our journey of local content and we uh, started with Power Magic and we obviously got a couple of producers. We say, bring what you have, and we started. Yeah? The, sh the plane was flying while we were building it. <laughs> and it worked so well that in the midst of COVID, when everybody was shutting down, mm. we were working. Wow. We started Pal Magic Prime. I was expecting this report to clap. I don't know why they're not. Every production house in the world Close. was shut down. We worked. Mm. And we started Pal Magic Prime with Sanyu, with uh, Prestige, with Story Yange, brilliant, uh, powerful shows. And um, it also worked. And last year, one year ago, we brought content that was strictly in Luganda. Um, yeah, yeah. I see our, our partners from URSD clapping. And, and that's because Luganda is spoken 60% of the country, right? So we, again, we want, because we want to tell our story, some things are better said in Luganda. There are, there are things, you know, um, uh, my team leader, Hassan, calls it nuances. There are things, there are things you have to say. <laughs> now, like such a thing, it can't make sense in English. It has to make sense in Uganda. <laughs> So there are things that have to be, that, that, you know, are really great in the local language. And so we, we started Palmaji Local. Even the shows that were not Ugandan, so like Kuba and Pali, we dubbed over them in Luganda. So when someone was watching, they were watching this Nigerian actor speaking Luganda. And that was a first in the industry. So. We're very proud of the work that we've done. Over uh, five years, been able to open three channels. Wow. That's fantastic. That is absolutely amazing. A round of applause. That is Power Magic Prime, Power Magic, and Power Magic Local. Hey, wow. That's a, in only five years. Yes. And Power Magic is five years old. Yeah. Power Magic Prime is 
just coming to three, three. years old, yeah. and then Palma Jivloko is... Just turned one year one on year. January 25th. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, anyone who was thinking about content, everyone is thinking we've been seeing series, and we know there's the movies, and all of this, that's what is being commissioned or licensed, and everyone is wondering, but are there other things? Like, are you venturing into other genres of television aside from it being film and series content only? Uh, we've done that. We've done that, and I'm proud to uh, see some of the stars. We have produced the first, um, first reality show yeah. in Uganda. Yeah. And the stars are here, man. Yeah. The stars are here. Mommy, just stand up, man. Just stand up. Oh, girl, oh, girl, stop pretending in your heart you know how excited you are. Nah, Tongo. Tongo, Tongo. Um, like a music. Like yeah. a like a. Yeah, and all married men say. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Laika, uh, you know, it's, it's incredible. Laika has just released the jam that was produced on Kampala Cream. Yeah, it came out yesterday. I was the first to play it on radio. And it's called Give Me Love. Where's Mitchell? Yeah, that's Mitchell. Mitchell loves the song a lot. <laughs> the song? The song. The song. Yeah, you have to stick right. with the song. Um, so, so, you saw Etania playing earlier. It, isn't that show fantastic? Yes. Fantastic. So, give these guys a round of applause. Thank you for entertaining Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And uh, uh, we are going to the Maldives for Mami Deb's wedding. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, so when you talk about genres, you know, that's a reality show. We have uh, Dead My Family, which is also a reality show. Um, so most people say, oh, you're only doing series. We, we, we are breaking out, yeah? And so uh, we want to tell people that, you know, one day we could have a talk show. We don't know what the future looks like, but we are willing uh, to, you know, move uh, the dial. We are willing to experience all these things. The customer tells us what they want, and we do what they want. I love that. So, you know, tonight it has really, the theme has been Kampala Cream, but you have to understand that pulling Kampala Cream off was not easy. And we are so proud of ourselves, even as a nation. Like, you can show up and be like, hey, like, you know people keep, when you say Uganda, someone opens their mouth and says, I mean, what? Now when you say Uganda, they say, oh, Kampala cream, Kampala cream. Yeah, you understand? Like, they see how bougie we are, right? Bougie, right? Exactly. Sit talking at Monday every day. Right? So, some, some of us, our Sundays, I don't know what we are going to do <laughs> now that the season has ended. Uh, things like Damalai that we love so much, season has ended. Sanyu is coming to a close. <laughs> the season is ending. Like, I don't know what you expect us. So to let do. me stop you there. Okay, okay. We know that you are feeling like that. So what is the plan? And we what hear you. Is there so, season two? Is there other shows? Yeah. What is going on? So I'd on? like to announce here, probably the cast also doesn't know, Kampala Cream season two is coming. Yeah. Ate, so Mami it's Deb. Joel, Joel, how are you feeling? That's the producer yes. of Kampala Joel Cream said. right there. Yeah, so Kampala Cream season two is coming, right? And uh, Mami Deb, Laika, and the whole gang they're gonna be there, right? Um, Damalai season two is coming! Yeah! It's exciting stuff, right? Uh, but in the meantime, as you wait, would like you to get, you know, to some second. You have new shows. Excuse me. We are going to go back to season one of Kampala Cream. Uh -huh. And more are you. We are. Those who have missed it. Uh -huh. Because you know, some of our people, they like something, but they take long to, they be like, mm. 
Then they catch up at episode eight. In a season you with the go. Am I lying? No. Like, but for me, I don't watch TV. You're like, Mukwano, I think you haven't watched our TV. Mm -hmm. So we are going to go back to episode one. Mm. A Bala Cream will be airing every Monday at 9.30 p.m. Wow. And Damalai, mm. back to episode one. Yo. We're starting on Sunday. On Sunday. This is the 15th, so uh, that will be the 15th. So I can if you catch missed, up. yeah, so you can catch up Tuesday and Wednesdays at 9 o'clock. Nice. So we're giving you but, the opportunity to catch up. By the time season two comes, you know where you are at. But also, if you haven't watched, if, if you can't still make time for TV, DSTV catch up is there. True. DSTV catch up is there. By DSTV app. Go catch up on this episode. DSTV stream, go TV stream. Yes. Yes. So you talked about new content. Yes. Yes. So, yes, these shows are taking a season's break. Mm. They are not ending. Break. Season's break. So as they are doing that, let's gentlemen, this Sunday mm -hmm. at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. mm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If you would like to send a message to your mother-in-law, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. this yes. is the show. Mm -hmm. If your wife doesn't know how to cook, mm -hmm. hey, fire! Bande. This is the show. Uh -huh. Put both of them in the same sitting room Orimba. and watch mom uh -huh. versus wife. Stop it. And all the men say. And all the women say. <laughs> hey. Wow. Mom versus wife. Bina baby. Uh, we don't know why she's called Bina. But. Hey. Hey. Bina baby. Hey. How are you? Like her. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know that. Yeah. Origin. Competing, <laughs> competing. Yeah, so being a baby, an absolute incredible broadcaster. Yes. Like, ah, absolutely professional, absolutely incredible. Yes. Like, everybody vouched for Bina. Yes. Uh, she's called Robina. Robina. Like, Bina. Okay, Bina came from Robina. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> what a show. So, what a Robina. <laughs> so mom versus wife. So whoever's just, what have we just seen? So the show is, is really about a mother, uh, the mother, uh, the mother of, okay. So my mother mm -hmm. and my wife uh -huh. cook food. Uh -huh. And the man is blindfolded, mm -hmm. tests the food and guesses of course, and tells us which food is better and who has cooked it. Ah, Gezo Gambe, Muchiara, Mama Gambe. Oh, man, I'm going to get a hand. Then, if you say, Mama, I will see you tonight. So, and then I was a mama. Then I was a mama. I'm going to say, Mama. You guys, I'm so excited about this show. Man, I just sounded like my mother, man. <laughs> <laughs> so that show, and, and Bina is just moderating that drama. That's it. So that's, that's the show we're bringing. And it's produced by Jerry Sesanga. Please stand up, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry Sesanga, uh, also acclaimed filmmaker, and uh, he's been producing a lot of content uh, with uh, Maisha Magic, fantastic films. And now he's producing Mom as his wife. So that show is going to be uh, taking the place of Kampala Cream Sunday, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. And season two is ready, we we'll, we'll switch it back. Uh, okay. um, yeah, so we have that show. We also have a new show mm -hmm. called Zen Sega. Zen? Zen Sega. Zen Sega. Yes, on Pearl Magic. So that's also a new show that we brought to our, our customers. Wow. So with mom versus wife, multi-choice, you decided to shake tables with expensive drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. so we want I like the drum, concept. And you can watch the show with the family. That's but also, good Malaika, concept. you talked about Sanyu. Yes. Uh, coming to an end. First of all, a big round of applause to Sanyu, guys. Um, fantastic show. Uh, 
uh, the Nabuisos, uh, you know, came on during the pandemic, and they, it's a masterpiece. It's a fantastic show. Yeah. So yes, uh, we already see the conversation. People like Katibu, but we've we've just started production of a new show called Crossroads. Wow. Yeah, Crossroads. It's been in production now for two weeks, and it's premiering on June twenty fifth. Okay. Starting. So it will so be our new telenovela. Basically. It's going to be our biggest show ever. You think Sanyu is huge? This is huger. The way you think, you'd think he was going to say somewhat. Eh? Hey. Remember that them casa space. I'm local. <laughs> Content marketing manager. Yes. Finish the set. So it's gonna be bigger than sign. Yeah. Nice, nice. We only want bigger and better. Number one, like I said, um, we are Uganda's most loved storyteller. So we are very passionate about the story that you're doing. Man, that Damalai story was just powerful. My God. Damalai. Hey, you know, just thinking about those things, you're like, wow, this is. This is really, this is a powerful story. JDC, power stories. You know, the fights with the parents, with the, the class, it's just incredible. And so it's important for producers to get the story right. But we get content in two ways. Number one, we license content, and we're using really technical words, but licensing is really, like how you go shoot your 100 episodes, and you bring them to us. And uh, you say, I have this. You know, of course, if the show is, is, is loved, we bring you on, right? So such licensed shows like Zen Sega is a licensed show. Mizigo Express is a licensed show. You come, you air here, you can resell if you want after that, right? But we also commission content. Now, every commission show that you've heard Kampala Cream is commissioned. That's, for lack of a better, a Palmagic Prime original. Yeah, yeah, JDC as well, by the way. That is owned by us. Original. And I dare say, I don't know if I'm allowed, Rinaldi will kill me. That show was created in the boardroom upstairs. Really? Nice. Who that was in show? that boardroom? Abuza. <laughs> so, so, you, you, you understand? What is it? Gosh, and you miss that for That show was created in the boardroom upstairs. Nice. It's a palm magic original. So then you commission, and we have fantastic, you know, people who know how to do the work, right? The, you know, the Ndugwas have done a fantastic job with the show. Yeah. So, Sanyu is commissioned, Prestige, Beloved, Damalai, uh, Jechiri, Tumbi Zafaya, JTC.